Hello, friends. It's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine. I got fuzz on me. And it's Monday night, and we're going to craft. We're going to craft the little Santa platter. I'm just trying to sit here and decide if I'm going to do the rectangle or the round because I don't have an oval. So, I am thinking I'm going to do... Hello, there's some eyeballs hopping on. I'm trying to decide which one to do. I want to do, I think I'm going to do the rectangle. Because I have a round and I have a rectangle. I don't have an oval. Hello, Luann. Hello, Shaney. Hey, Claudia. Hello. Because I don't have the oval. I couldn't find an oval. <clears throat> hey, Karina. And hey, Bev. Hello. Um, so we're going to, um, hey, Connie. We're having to do one or the other. But if you, I did the original one. Oh, Lord, that looks terrible. I did the original one that I did on an oval platter. Hey, Sydney. Hello, Tammy and Nanette. Hello. The top of this chalk paint looks terrible. So I had to fix it. Hey, Penny. Hello. Y'all come on in. I'm just getting, I was going to be painting when I started on my life, but that didn't happen. I open this up and it looks terrible. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Kathy, I'm live. I'm not, you don't have on replay. I just got started. <clears throat> Trying to get this out. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Tammy, hello. All right. So I'm just starting off with this white <clears throat> chalk paint. And I've kind of changed my direction of where I was going. You can't find the oval. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, I have the rectangle and I have a round one. I've had this round one for a long time. So these are from the Dollar Tree. Hello, Cindy. Hello. Hey, Laurie. Good evening. Hello, Veronica and Glenda. So I'm trying to decide, do I want the round? It's glaring in y'all's eyes. I think I'm going to do the rectangle only because it's going to leave me enough room up here to have my greenery. <coughs> hey, Sherry. Hey, Karen. Hello, Pamela. I know I love this shirt. I got this shirt at Bucky's last year and I really love it. And I thought, well, I'm doing Santa. So let's wear my pink Santa shirt. Jane, they come from the Dollar Tree. Um, do I pull my sleeves up? You're excited for this? So this is not gonna be exactly the way I did it. It's gonna be the same way I did it. I'm just gonna use a different Santa and I'm using different greenery. I tried to find it's up here in my bins. I tried to find the one I did last year so I could show y'all. Um, but, um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to do this one a little different. Couldn't find the original because it's in my stuff. Hey, Lori. Hey, Missy. Hello, Tina. Hey, Deborah. So, I am drinking coffee <laughs> because I was on the couch. We ate supper and I was on the couch like this. I told my husband, I said, I'm going to drink some coffee. And I never do this at night because, um, yay, Kim, I'm so glad. Hey, Barb. Uh, because I'm just like, I was getting sleepy just sitting on the couch. Um, oh, the baby girl, Charlie's doing so good. I got to feed her and feed her and love her and feed her and feed her and love her and feed her and just love on her and love on her and get all the snuggles. And then I had to come home and I was sad to have to leave. But I'll take what I can get. Hey, Julie. Hello, Lenora. <clears throat> but I'll take what I can get. So this ornament is really light. And it is from Walmart. So it's $1.98. And then they have the one that I used in the original video, which I did that in Stacy with Wilshire Collections. I did that in her Christmas uh, workshop she did last year. I did the original video in that. And people ask me all the time, where's that video? Where's that video? Well, I didn't. Oh, I know, Robin, don't I look cute <laughs> up there? Um, I didn't, um, so I didn't do it on my page. So I'm going to do it this year on my page. I did something similar, but I didn't use the Santa. So this Santa came from Walmart, $1.98, very affordable. They also have another one that I did use in the original, which he's a cream colored Santa. He's flat on the back and he's heavy. So he's like cast something, but this one is kind of hollow. Hobby Lobby does have, and I saw them again today, they do have the a black and white uh, 
buffalo plaid and they have the red and black buffalo plaid and they look very very similar to this same size everything every, everything so uh and they're flat on the back minus this puffy hat but we're gonna make him work but he is super cute so i wanted to do <clears throat> i wanted to hey colin i wanted to do um something different because I did the creams, the, the neutrals in the last one I did. So I'm gonna do this one in um, reds and all the, you know, the creams and whites and all that. Hey Pam, hey Kim, a little more traditional, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hey Corrine, yes, I did get to go see my baby. And of course my son and his wife, you know, they're, you know, they're on the back burner now because, <laughs> because there's a baby, but, um, so she is just, she's doing so good. She's growing and I'm just, I'm just submitting with her. She is just precious. And I just talk to her and, and tell her all the things. The banner behind me, that is one. I just added uh, the fabric in there. If you watch me from other night, there's Paige. Hello, Paige. You have the Santa and the tray. Carol, you're in business. And then all you need is greenery that I'm going to put at the top pretty much and some scrapbook paper. Um... So you can do this however you choose. Let's see. Hey, Krista. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Carolyn. Hello, Cindy. Oh, you're talking to Colin. Um, but yeah, Colin and Paige, they're doing good. And Charlie's doing good at night. She, she you know, she still gets up and eats and stuff. But um, she's she's a good baby. You have the vintage tray that you did last year? Yes. Oh, Lord, I just put my thumb right in the middle of the paint. But what's new? That's how I roll. I'm going to have to get it on all over me. Hey, Gail. Hey, Peggy. No, I have not. Uh, well, at least I have not painted him. And I'm going to try to probably come on extra to get some of those tutorials done. Y'all, I turned the heat on in here and it is blaring and it is hot. Maybe it'll shut off in a minute. Because it was cool when I came in here, but now it's hot up in here. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, Teresa. Hello, Wanda. So, I am just painting the outside of this tray. I'm not too concerned with the inside because we're going to cover that up with paper. And, you know, this is that embossed-like shimmery paper from Hobby Lobby, and it cost $1.99. But this piece of paper today cost me $110 because I went to Hobby Lobby just to get this piece of paper, okay? Today, on my way home, just this piece of paper because I have some in my stash, but it's cut up because I've used it for different things and I didn't have a whole entire piece. So, it was an expensive piece of paper. This is an expensive craft tonight because it cost me, I mean, I just got some stuff that I needed. I got some stuff that I didn't need, but I wanted. <laughs> um, Cause their Christmas, the one I went to, I just think they had more Christmas stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's just my excuse, I guess. But they, um, I just got all happy up in there. There was a whole bunch of people in there and they were all shopping and buying stuff. And I was just right on there with them. And stuff was just popping up in my cart. Um, Oh, yeah, Sharon, I'm glowing. I'm probably glowing because I'm sweating. And y'all, I'm just going to turn this, this air down. The heat down. Hang on, let me turn the heat back because it is hot. Woo! Whew. And I have on this long sleeve shirt. It is cool outside, but I was like, oh my gosh. Hey, hey, Karen. You cannot find why. Um, thank you, Susan. Sorry, I had to turn the heat down. Woo! So, anyway, so I'm just giving this white chalk paint, but I have kind of changed my d mind about this, of the colors I'm going to use. Thank you, Brenda. Hey, Stephanie. Yes, the, the fall is 75% off. I did get a couple of things. I didn't go crazy, but the trick to it is, is when you go in there, the tableware stuff in the fall section, all the little placemats like I used on my turkey, the little spoons, the cups, all that stuff, that stuff is still 50% off in the fall section. It's not, they haven't marked it to 75 yet, and goodness, they had a bunch of it where I was. 
So, it's just the decor, which they had a lot of that too. No, bur oh yay, Sherry, you're getting one near you. That's nice. It's it's nice, but it's not. But mine from me is um, here is about it takes me about 20 25 minutes to get there, which is good. Hey Ashley, thank you Susan. <laughs> the $20 store and the $30 or $40 store. Um, well, I'm usually really good. And and my husband even said, I told him, I said, I went in there for a piece of paper, a $1.99 piece of paper, because it wasn't on sale this week. So if you go buy the paper that I'm using, wait till next week, it'll be on sale. But I had to have it for this craft. Hey, Dorsell. Hey, B, I'm making this Santa... The, my Santa ornament platter that I did last year in a private group for someone and everybody always asks me about it so I'm doing it this this year here. Hey Mildred! But um anyway so I told my husband I said I went in there to get this $1.99 piece of paper and I ended up spending $110. But he was like you never do that. So I honestly don't. I, I usually have um You'll be able to make it in about seven minutes. Wow, that's close. Oh, good. You got, yay, Gary, you're going to be able to make them. Uh, I'm just getting the edge because y'all know I'll touch the edge and it'll get off on my fingers. But I'm going to go over it one more time. Oh, yay, Jenny, you got your fabric today. I'm so excited. Um, let me move this. I'll have, Santa's going to be splatter painted if I don't, <laughs> if I don't move him. Um, anyway, but I just got some stuff that I needed, stuff that I wanted. Um, I, there's a couple of crafts that I want to do. <clears throat> oh, Sue, I'm sorry. You're not feeling good. We'll definitely say a prayer for you. Um, that's rough. I've been there. The Santa head came from Walmart. They have two different kinds at my Walmart. And he's really light and he's flat on the back. And then their Hobby Lobby has the buffalo, both the buffalo plaid, the red and the white. So whichever place you can get them. But any ornament that's like this, that's flat on the back, like this one is, it would be perfect for this. I did, Judy, I did use Waverly Wax on the paper. Um, I do believe, if I remember correctly. And I, see, I don't even have the video because it was inside her Christmas workshop. So, of course, I don't have you know, the downloaded video or anything like that because it was for her little paid workshop that she does every year. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, so I'm just getting this kind of good encoded because I really think that instead of leaving this white and then waxing it, I think I'm going to paint it red. And then the middle will be this white with the wax. And then, because he is red, I'm kind of doing the traditional rather than doing the um, the off-white like I did on my other tray. And I'll have to post a picture of the, the first one that I did because I didn't do it here on the page. Let's see. But I just love these um, vintage, kind of the traditional Santas. I think they're so cute and pretty. Just, it reminds me, you know, of your childhood and stuff when... All this, <clears throat> all the Santas kind of looked like that. And you really didn't, I really didn't have a lot of whimsical Santas when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. You can use the Dollar Tree wall tile. Why didn't I think of that? I've got about 10 of those things. And then it wouldn't have cost me $110 to go get that, <laughs> that paper. <laughs> no, I had fun. Um, the miniature ones, I don't have miniature ones in my shop, though. Because... I can't compete with Dollar Tree. Thank you, Debbie. But, um, anyhow. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess I could have done a Dollar Tree tile. It would be pretty. It would be really pretty on here. Oh, goodness. Debbie, we'll be definitely praying for her. Goodness. The garland will be restocked. I'm going to start cutting it tomorrow again. Because I put it back. I put it in the shop again today, this morning. And I turned around this evening and I went, oh my gosh, it sold out again. I mean, thank y'all. I think it's amazing that y'all do that. But, um, 
Judy has the rectangle too. See, I couldn't find the oval, so I got the rectangle and I have a round one. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah, Trisha, they were all the old vintage Santas like this. They look like this. You didn't really have a lot of the whimsical Santas when I was a kid, and that's kind of a changed over the years. So, <clears throat> I think I'm going to try this. I think I'm going to try. I got my crafters collection companion, whatever, crafters collection uh, red. And I think I'm going to paint it red, but then I'm going to tone it down with the wax. And that way, this will be red, vintage red. This will be white and with the wax. And then he's going to be red and white. And then we're going to put greenery on the top. Because I kind of want it to look um, traditional, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So this is just the 49 cent paint from Hobby Lobby that I've been trying out um, to see how that works and so far i like it i used it the other night and i really liked it Let's see if i'm gonna like this paintbrush but it's really bright red but the wax is going to tone this down yay tammy you got your gingerbread girl and y'all see it up there i said a few choice words trying to hang that up there I, i'm just gonna tell you <laughs> those little gingerbread men um they heard some not so not so nice language of me trying to hang <laughs> today <laughs> Cause I was doing it by myself and I almost called Chase out here to help me <clears throat> cause that was not easy cause I had to get it right. And then I had it off center and, um, Oh, Michelle, they had a Santa that was winking. Oh, that's my favorite. But, uh, anyway, so that banner back there, I took it off. Oh, done spilt. I didn't look, you can't take me nowhere. Look at that. I didn't spill coffee on it. can't do, I can't do anything. Anyway, there we go. Put that over there. Now I got paint on my thing. If I don't end up with red paint on my shirt, I'm going to be doing good. <laughs> yes, we'll be playing for your granddaughter. That's super scary, and I hope everything turns out well. I'm sure it will. We're going to say that it is, but see how super red this is? But when I wax it, it's not going to be. So y'all will know what it's going to look like if you paint it red. And you have the red Santa. Hey, Ann. Debbie, I know. And, and the reason that is, is because some people, when they see just a little blank, little gingerbread or something, it's hard for you to vision how it will look painted. And then, and like me adding the fabric and stuff to it, it's... Um, some people don't don't have, you know, don't be like, oh, I've never seen you do that before. I've never seen that done. So, that adds to it. Um, Mary, he's from Walmart. Y'all, i got to dry this a little bit because now I've got pink going on over here in the corner. Because I evidently got in some white. No, the platter, Gary, is metal. And it's from the Dollar Tree. Gail, that is in my shop. And I painted it. Thursday night, I believe. Over one last year and used the bells from Dollar Tree. And you, ooh, that's pretty. Um, I know the garland is adorable, and that is probably got to be my most favorite project I've ever done. Um, that I've cut and actually painted because they're hanging on that little string. And that was one of the sets that I had to show you how to do because of their, the way their hands are. How am I still getting white paint? But anyway, we're just going to saturate it in red so that I don't have any white. I probably should have painted it white to start with. Yeah, and yes, Hobby Lobby has the, head, the Santa heads too. They're buffalo check, white and red. So you can have either one. But Walmart has them. They had them last year. They have them this year. Um, so you can pick your assortment of colors. Because Walmart has this one. And then the one I used on the original project. Which was. Um, he's all cream. His beard. His hat. Everything. He's all real neutral. So he's kind of a, got a softer look. And so this one's going to be a little more traditional. 
and I looked all over Hobby Lobby today for some holly. I wanted some like holly that looked like real holly. And all I could find was some with some red plastic berries that looked really cheap. I didn't like it. Buffalo checks for a dollar everything. Ah, oh, so they have them too. See, I must have a glob of white paint over here because. All right, so there's my red and I'm probably gonna go over it just one more time. Cause this over here is kind of pink. But once I wax it, it's gonna be fine. Right now, it looks ugly. <laughs> Y'all are like, what is she doing? So just like when you're painting a painting of a picture or something, sweet Annie, yes. Hey, Lola's Gnomes, hello Rhonda, my friend. Y'all go check out Lola's Gnomes, her page. She has got some of the cutest gnomes that you have ever seen and she hand makes them and they are adorable. She has a gingerbread one too and I'm, I've been eyeing him. I need to give him Lola's gnomes. She is just a sweetie pie. I've met her in person. Hey Cindy, I'm making the the infamous red Santa, uh, I mean the red Santa, the Santa with on the platter that I did last year and everybody asked me about it. And, um, hey Vicki, and um, I did it in uh, Wheelshire Collections, her Christmas workshop. So I didn't, I didn't get to show it on my page. And um, so I'm doing it and everybody always asks me about it. Like I have people lately that's asked me about it. So I'm doing it now. <laughs> Paint white. Carolyn, because I don't have any red chalk paint. Chalk paint is going to adhere to this platter really well. And I thought I had some crimson by Waverly and I did not. So I thought, well, I'm just going to paint it white and then I'll paint the red over it. I didn't even explain that part, but thank you for asking because I should have explained. Hey, Sherry. Oh, they have small ones? See, I, did, I was in there today, as y'all know. And I didn't really look at the ornaments, but I did see the Santa heads in that Hobby Lobby. It's not wasn't my Hobby Lobby. Just trying to get this good and dry. Because I may not have to go back over it, but this one. So I'm going to show y'all my pink down here in the corner. See, I got into my white, and y'all probably can't tell, but I can. And it, I probably got a clump of white paint and I probably stirred it up and so it made my paint pink. So there's a couple of little spots that I've, I can still see white and all those little decorative little things. But I'm gonna wax it so, cause it looks, I mean the red looks all splotchy. You know how red looks. So I think I'm done with that. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing this crap because I bought a Santa about a week ago. Yes, I've been kind of telling y'all, hey, hey, we're going to do this. So y'all would kind of know and pick it up if you saw it. And, you know, Walmart, all the things. Terry, it was like $11 on Amazon. And look at it. It's got stuff and crud and paint and wax and still going. And I, I bought me a backup because I thought, well, what happens when this one decides to just not work anymore? And uh, so I got me a backup. Well, that's been about a year ago. And this thing has been going about two years. Or more. And it was like a cheapie on Amazon. So it's still, it's still going. All right, I'm just getting this really good and dry. Before I wax, you know, and all the things. Okay. Oh. Turn that off. Okay, I think I'm done with this for the moment. I'll just pile that on top of this pile of stuff that's over here that y'all can't see. All the stuff y'all see is all is all good. All this over here, it's just a pile of stuff. <laughs> Jane, I just get mine at Walmart. It's just Waverly. And then I painted just regular red craft paint on top of it because I didn't have red, red top paint. I thought I had crimson, but I didn't. Is crimson is the um, red version of Waverly, and it's like a deeper red. It's really pretty. Um, so, yeah, I get it at Walmart. 
Let's see. I just know it's going to have... I think I just set it in some paint. Some little globs of red somewhere, and I'm going to end up smearing it. Yeah, you can get chalk paint at Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I like Michael's brand. They're, is it uh, Craft Smart? What is it called? Art Minds is what their chalk brand is. I had to use that during the pandemic when we couldn't get Waverly, and I really like it. Oh, you love my cup? <laughs> my little, it's, my, it's a Tarvis. I drink coffee out of Tarvis a good bit just because it has a lid. Plastic. He is plastic, so um, he's hollow. But now the 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 neutral colored one from Walmart is he's resin. He's like heavy, and the ones from Hobby Lobby are heavy too. Debbie, she's doing wonderful. Okay, so this is what I'm using, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you a trick. If you didn't see my video the other day about it, go get you some Aquanet, some White Rain, some cheap. 80s hairspray from Dollar Tree. He's got glitter and more glitter and glitter and glitter and glitter. So I've already done this once. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. And I'm just, I just spray everywhere he has glitter. And that hairspray will help hold some of it. Now it'll still come off, but not near as bad. So that's just a little trick. If you have stems that have glitter and y'all know it's all over everywhere it helps some all right so we're gonna put him over here to dry now trying to decide if i'm gonna wax this first oh this it's a tarvis i'm sorry it just has a little lid and they have all kinds of designs but i'm drinking coffee because i was on the couch like this and i never drink coffee at night and my husband's like, well, you probably won't finish the whole cup, so I just drank some. You shouldn't be up all night. Hey, Myrtle. Okay. Now, my $110 piece of paper. <laughs> no, it's really $1.99. But if you'll wait till next week, it'll be half off. I had to have it, so I bought it. And a whole bunch of other stuff. I looked in my cart and I went, dang, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um chalk paint today at Dollar General. They got, oh, they're stepping it up at the Dollar General. But anyway, but I never do that. Like, I never go in Hobby Lobby because I talk myself out of every, everything. But look, let me show you one thing I did get. I had to have him because y'all know I have all my Santa, Santa head mugs. And then look, he's got gingerbread. I had to have him. I was like, okay, I had to have him. I picked him up and he was $7.99 at Hobby Lobby and he was half off. So he was in my buggy today. <laughs> Ain't he cute? But he's gonna go on my coffee bar in my kitchen or something. Because, you know, I'm kind of doing the gin. This is all like gingerbread back here, but I want him. DD, I have two. I've used this paper a, a lot, a lot. And um, I didn't have a whole piece. So I knew when I went to see Colin and Paige and Charlie, I had to go by Hobby Lobby somewhere and get a piece so that I could do this craft. All right, so now I'm going to turn this over because you got to find the inside, you know, how it's sunk in. So there's not a whole, an easy way to do that, really. So I'm going to do it the best I can. So you could, um, hey, Diane, any adorable? He's holding a little gingerbread man in the house. He's so cute. So I'm just going to kind of crease this paper around the bottom of my tray. And that's going to kind of give me, you know, an idea of where to cut. And then I can just trim it from there. All right. So just do the best I can because, you know, it's hard to do the inside like that. I love the Santa gingerbread too. And the little Debbie tree. Yes, those are ornaments in my shop. These little trees? Yes, these are ornaments. I did those a couple weeks ago, I guess. But I used that little 3D icing and did the little um, things. But they're in my shop, y'all. I didn't paint the back. But um, little Debbie trees. You bought way too many doc decorations at Hobby Lobby. Honey, there was people in there. 
Oh, Lord, I can't see nothing. There was people in there, and they had, yeah, I can. They had their buggies full of all kinds of Christmas stuff, and I got, gosh, because I got too much as it is, and this is not, I'm trying to make sure that that line is where I'm supposed to cut. Hence, that's why I got two pieces and paid $4 for two pieces of paper, but it about hurt my, hurt my bones to do that, but I did. Because I had to have it. So I'm gonna cut it too big. I don't know where my, my scissors are. So I don't know. Okay, so here it is. It's really pretty. If you've never seen it, it's like it's got a uh, shimmery look to it. It was picked over. Oh, they had tons where I was. Yeah, it's getting picked over. And that's what's crazy that you can't, um, you have to get it so dang early. All right. I'm, I almost stuck my tongue out, but then I thought twice about it. <laughs> Be like, sticking my tongue out. All right. So I'm just trying to, because there's not really a, lip or a stopping point, I would say, on this paper. So you kind of just have to do the best you can. I love this paper too. But I rarely ever go like to Hobby Lobby and just do like I did today, never. Chocolate ones, I saw, I finally saw the chocolate ones at Walmart, finally, because I haven't been seeing the chocolate ones. So now I'm just gonna, I'm just kind of putting it in here and y'all know, I'm just kind of using my fingernail and maybe making a crease. So I kind of know where to cut, maybe. <laughs> Cause it's hard when you have the inside of something like this. You just kind of have to wing it the best you can. And if you mess up, you can always use some like twine or something and glue on top of your seam and then what way it's you won't be able to see it so there's a way to cover it up if you do mess it all up all right but i want to wax all this at one time i think so i won't have to wax it more than one time all right let's see your tongue helps me helps you. Yes, it does me too, and I'll catch myself doing it when I'm trying to concentrate on something, and I'll catch myself. And I almost almost did it just then. <laughs> Y'all would have been like, "Look at her stick your tongue out." I always cut the best. Ugh, no, I promise I don't. If you saw it up close, you'd be like, "Oh Lord, she didn't cut that straight." <laughs> I can't I can't straight draw a straight line, much less cut one. Okay, so I'm just trying to do a little creases here where I can, because it's rounded, it's not exactly like straight. So that's the other problem. And all of them would be the same way, even the oval one was this way. All right, let's see. And why it's wanting to kind of buckle up, I don't know. You made my shim trees? See, I need to do that too. Hello, Ashley, Clayton, hello, Katen. Hello, hello. Um, I need to do the shim tree again. I don't, did I do them last year? I hadn't done them in a while. That was one thing that I was super proud of is my shim trees. My shark came from Bucky's, but look, it's pink. Red and turquoise, and I love it. Hey, Lori. Not unusual to use tongue when working on something. It helps. I don't care who you are. It helps. All right, I'm going to cut that a little more. And I'm scared because if you don't cut super straight right here, you're going to be able to tell it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cause you know, I don't, this was expensive paper and I don't want to mess up my paper. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like, but I'm gonna wax this whole thing once I get it in here. 
Yay, Christy, you ordered your girl, your gingerbread. And see, I traveled today, so I drove back home and went to Hobby Lobby, you know, in the midst of all that, on my way. And I didn't look at my shop, and then I was printing off invoices while I go so I can pack them in the morning. And, um, hey, Wendy. And uh, I said, oh, my gosh, it's sold out again. And then I had some messages of people saying, hey, it's, it's sold out. When are you going to restock? And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I will be cutting more and I will be restocking it because I know y'all need to hurry up and get it so that um, um, you can get it decorated because some of y'all have probably got your decor up or getting it up. All right, I'm just hot gluing this down. You can Mod Podge it if you want to. So I'm just kind of doing a, you know, one part and then laying it down and just so I can get it in here without it bubbling because it's wanting to kind of ripple or something. So anyway, I know this, y'all are thinking, gosh, what is the color she got going on in here? Not looking really pretty right here. I'm just hoping this red looks good. They are doing good, Teresa. They're doing really good. Um, oh, that hot. Some glue oozed out and got me. But um, they're doing good. I think they're getting into their little groove of parenthood and all the feedings and getting up and all that stuff. Oh, thank you, Linda. Welcome. If you're new, welcome, welcome. We love to have new people. And there's a group of bunch of peop good people on here that come and watch me craft. And we chat and do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, Glenda, what did I buy? I bought that Santa, bought two pieces of this paper, I bought some greenery, I bought some of this paper because I almost used this for inside the tray, but I didn't. So I bought some of that, and the scrapbook paper, of course, it's not on sale. Um, I bought some greenery, some things for some crafts that I'm going to do, I can't tell y'all about. Um, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but I did. Let's see. It's all over there. What else did I buy? Just some. I bought some bling stuff like this. Um, greenery. Like, so like, this is one of the pieces I bought today. Because it's half. Um, this was half off. It was $9.99. It's half off. Because I was wanting holly and I couldn't find any holly that I liked. So, that was a problem. Um... Uh, what else did I buy? Just some, like I said, some some stuff for some crafts that I want to do. Some of those, all those little things in the, that I tell y'all about from the mini Christmas, this kind of stuff. Now, I've already had these, but remember I told y'all I was running out of all these little things? I had to buy a bunch of these today because I use them and I put them in my little Christmas drawers. But I bought several packs of those. Um, what else? I bought some rhinestones because I'm going to do something with those. Um, hey, Tina. Just randomness. It was total randomness. And I, I don't know. I bought some of the fall stuff. I bought... They had the, the little fairy lights, you know? The fall ones, they had those 75% off. So I grabbed a pack, several packs of those because I needed some. And they were the ones with the timers. Um, oh, did I should have shook this up maybe? Um, what else did I buy? I mean, I bought several things of greenery, Christmas greenery. I had, oh, I bought some fall greenery for next year, um, because it was on sale. Um, what else did I buy? I don't know. That little Santa over there. Oh, I bought these two trees. You'll see the trees. These, uh oh, I'm gonna knock everything down. See, it still has the price tag on it. $16.99 and it was half off. I bought two of these because I love these trees. I love them, I love them, I love them. And I may take the stand off and put them in something else, but that's where they are for right now. <laughs> I bought those. Oh, thank you, Judy. You're so sweet. You don't have to do that, but that's so sweet. Thank you. Okay. Wax, baby wipe. So I'm gonna tone this red down 
and get it, you know, all in these little cracks of this tray. Oh, I'm trying not to make a mess. All right, so I'm gonna hold it up close so y'all can see how it gets into all of that and makes all that stand out and show. So, hey, Cindy. So, um, that's what I'm aiming for, and it's going to tone this red down tremendously because I know y'all are thinking, gosh, that red is so bright. What is she doing with that? So, I'm kind of going a pretty heavy on the red with the wax. But see the difference than down here than up here? My head's itching. I'm surprised my nose isn't itching because, you know, normally you get stuff on your hands, your nose will start itching and... You can't, um, can't scratch your nose because you got paint on your hands or whatever. Get that off my table. So I'm just kind of going around. I'm going to do the paper in a minute, which I've already kind of got it on the paper. But be all right. And this is just Waverly Wax. I'm still using the same bottle that... <laughs> That Colin bought me three years ago. Still using that same bottle. Because we couldn't get it during the pandemic. And he happened to find it in a Walmart somewhere in Arkansas, I think. Uh, yeah, the tray is from Dollar Tree. The paper's from Hobby Lobby. Um, I painted it white chalk paint. Then I painted red on top because I don't have red chalk paint. And I knew the chalk paint would adhere better than the acrylic. So that's why I did that. That garland, I know, isn't it cute? I finally took it off my mantle today. When I came home from visiting them, I came out here to get all this ready, what I didn't already have ready. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get my gingerbread garland because I told them I was going to hang it up there. Because I got fall still out at my house. <laughs> so I had a gingerbread, uh, gingerbread banner on my mantle and fall and pumpkins <laughs> Hey, Cindy, I am making... Hey, Susanna, I'm making the famous little um, Santa platter that I did last year in a group, and everybody always asks me about it, so I'm doing it again, but with y'all, and I am doing it a little different because I used a different Santa. Okay, so now see how vintage -y this looks. It doesn't near look as red in person as it does here, but I did it really, really heavy on the wax I didn't really wipe a lot of it off because I wanted it to look I wanted it to tone that red down and look old all right so now I'm just gonna try to do this paper so this paper's kind of slick so it's really not uh, it's not as it's not gonna soak it up as much as it would if it was strict paper, but it does soak it up. Now I'm gonna say that. It doesn't just wipe straight off. So you be careful and don't get it too dark at first. So see, it's gonna look kind of dark and scare you to death and go, oh my gosh. But yeah, but I'm just taking a clean one and just wiping it really good. But it's got something on it to where it's not just like straight paper. But you can use the Dollar Tree tile if you want to, like somebody suggested earlier. You could do that. Um, this is Hobby Lobby's paper. You can use that textured wallpaper. You can use all kinds of different things. Or you can just use regular um, scrapbook paper. You don't have to have it textured. But I just love this paper, and I like it when it's waxed, how it looks. Because this looks like a an old ceiling tile kind of deal. I'm going to go on my, white, my red a little bit more. And the more you do, the older it's going to look. So, just tones that red down, because I know it's so bright. But it doesn't look as bright to me as it does to y'all. And when I take pictures, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it doesn't look that bright. So, wrinkled paper back. Oh, Tina, 
That would look good too. We've done that technique actually last Christmas on something. But uh, the brown craft paper, crumble it up really good and then just kind of lightly do the wax on it. That would look really pretty. You could paint it white, crumble it up, then do wax. We need to try that. That would be pretty too. Paint it white, make it all crumbly, and then just kind of lightly wax it. I think that would look really pretty. So there's all kinds of different things you can do without, if you don't have the scrapbook paper or, you know, don't have a way to get it or don't want to pay $110 a sheet like I did today. Because <laughs> when you go in Hobby Lobby, you're going to buy something besides um, what you went in there for. Which I already knew that I was before I even went in there. I was like, I need some stuff. So... I'm going to get a few things. Well, yeah. And I never, ever, ever just go to Hobby Lobby and just... I never do it. But, because I have enough stuff out here that I I could be locked in here for a year and I could still be crafting stuff out of here. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Connie. I do too. It's really cute. It's in my shop and I'll restock it probably maybe tomorrow. It depends on how many I get cut. Yes, Leon, you could use a cardboard box that rippled. Or you could just use regular card, uh, regular cardboard and put some craft paper on it. You can do all kinds of stuff. Hey, Carol. Oh, it was wonderful. She was a perfect little angel. Thank you, Barb. I kind of fixed it today. It's all kind of turning into gingerbread. But look, look how pretty this looks. And I promise y'all, it doesn't look that red in person. I don't know. The lights just make it look different, but look how vintagey this looks than what it looked like a minute ago. <laughs> it was kind of, um, you like my cup? Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little more. Oh, wait. It says, maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. <laughs> so, Colin and Paige made me watch the... Dr. Zeus is Grinch last night. Because they were in awe that I haven't seen that version of it. And so we watched it and I've seen it now. We did a lot of hearts. Oh, the cardboard. Yeah, that would be pretty. It won't look like cardboard when you got done with it. I love the Grinch, yes. I did, Lynn. I went and saw the baby. I left. I got all my orders packed and everything done so I could um, sneak down there and go see her. Um, she had a, she had a little, she had to go get, you know, weighed at the doctor today. So I, I went down there so I could go with Paige and, you know, how it is trying to get in the car and get, you know, all the things. So I went down there and went with her because I can, right? Um, so I did. So I went yesterday and Colin cooked some good gumbo and oh my gosh it was fantastic and um I'm gonna glue his little pom-pom you can tell where they glued it on so I'm gonna put just a little dot of glue right there and then I'm gonna kind of let me get some of it off okay I'm gonna just kind of fold it up on itself where you can't see that seam I got a giant Grinch this year. <laughs> they have tons of Grinch stuff at Hobby Lobby. Like a whole aisle of things. Oh, my earrings. They are from last year. They're Santa heads. I couldn't find my little Debbie earrings. I don't know what happened to them. My little cakes. Because I was going to wear them. And I don't know what happened to them. I put them somewhere. Yes. Tina, this is the ornament from Walmart. So, see, I just kind of squished it up on itself. See? Where you can't actually see the seam. It just looks a lot prettier to me. But I sprayed my hairspray and, you know, glitter's still coming off. But, um, I know they look cute because he's almost the same. He's almost the same, um, and I got some Santa heads I got to paint. They're different this year, but he looks almost the same as that Santa. Um, you prayed you get snowed in. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> I've only had that much. Oh, Natina, I haven't seen that cup. 
This is just a Tarvis, but isn't it cute? He's so cute. I love the Grinch. Okay. So now I'm going to, now he's, he's going to sit off a little bit because of his hat. So see how he's, but we're going to mash him down. Now, if you wanted to, you could take something like this. This is from Hobby Lobby. I've had it, I don't know, forever. And you could run this around. I'm deciding whether I'm going to do this or not because I think that would be so cute. You could run it around the edge. Let's see. Of your paper. I'm going to do that because I think it's going to add to the to the vintageness of it. Because everything... All right, what's going to be the top? Everything back in the vintage kind of stuff always had a little bit of bling to it. Had the sugar glitter or it had something on it. Okay, so I'm trying to find which end looks the best. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to start at the top where the greenery is going to cover this up. And I'm going to put, this is some kind of little trim, I don't know, from Hobby Lobby that I've had for a long time. And I'm just going to tack it on. Okay, Santa, you got to move over here. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of my paper. And that's going to cover up kind of any little imperfections in the cutting that I have in, which there's a lot of imperfections. Mod Podge adhesive spray. I don't know, but would it make it sticky? I don't have any of that spray. I have like the Gorilla Glue and it would be really sticky, but I don't know what the Mod Podge spray is. I spray hairspray. Debbie, yes, this trim is like gold. It's like a, like a little rope, but you know they make uh, this stuff, and I know Dollar Tree carries it. Like, I always shop in the gift wrap aisle, too. But you could use, oh, you could use any kind of ribbon, really. Or any little trim that you had. Anything, like, in the Christmas aisle or gift wrap stuff. Oh, it's going to take me three days to get this out from under my fingernails. It does every time. And I scrub. Hey, Elsie from Rhode Island. I get my nail brush and I scrub and I scrub and I scrub and I, it takes me forever to get that wax out from under my fingernails every time. Okay, so it's looking cute. I'll, I'll hold it up when I get done. Busy with work and you get her day or two. Oh, Sharice, you need to make some time for yourself. And just do some little crafting. Gold cord. Yeah, it's like a cord. Is it stretchy? It's not stretchy. And it's been in my ribbon stash over there for a while. And I, I had it out here for, I don't know, something I was doing. Now I might use it. But this is, I think this is going to add to like the... The vintageness of it looking. Dawn dish soap. I tried that, Brenda, because I think you told me or somebody told me that before. I've used Dawn. I've, I've done it all. Trying to get it off my, out of from under my fingernails. And it takes, it takes a couple of days. <laughs> hey, Diane, you made it. Hey, Jane, you made it too. Winter is your only craft time, really. Yeah, and I get that because you're... In the house more, I guess. In the summer, there's stuff to do. In the fall, there's stuff to do. The weather's nice. I started to use gloves, but I just start and don't even think about it. I can't do much with gloves on. Never used it. I think it would be sticky, but I don't. I've never tried the Mod Podge kind. All right, let's see. Baking soda and peroxide works good. Okay, I'll try it, Rita, because I have, I'm telling you, I have tried it all. 
I need some of that. What's that stuff? Um, not Goo Gone, but it's some stuff that you wash your hands with. It's, I don't know what it's called. I, don't, I can't think of it right now. Okay. So, yes, look how pretty this looks. It just gives it that little bit of kind of vintage sparkle. Isn't it cute? You can barely see it, but it does cover up my, my janky uh, lines. My cutting lines. But see, up here, that's where the greenery is going to be. So, we're going to cover that up with greenery. Look, it looks like it needs some little gingerbread men on it. And it's like a little cooking tray. <laughs> Goop. That's it. Like a degreaser stuff that men that work on cars use. That's what I need. <laughs> Goop. Yes, that's it. All right. So, now... Here's Santa. So, look how pretty he's going to be. He's going to be so pretty. Lava soap. Yes, that is a bar. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, Gojo, is that... It? Mm, that's it. That's a one-two, I think. Hey, Susan. Love how... It, I do. I like just... It gives it that... That vintage Christmas look. Because, you know, everything had like the sparkles like this is that sugary glitter and um just that icicles you know we just put icicles on our tree the little those things that's that kind of a look all right so the only thing about this is that he's he's up off the tray like i told y'all so when i put glue on him i'm just gonna have to hold him down the best I can. So I'm going to put him pretty much like all the way down to the bottom of the, the tray because I want to have enough room up here for my greenery. So I'm going to put him right there. Here we go. I've already taken a piece of tape and gotten all the glitter off his hat and it looks like it's back again. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna try to work really fast. And this is super, super hot. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And it's super hot, but that gives you a little time. Remind me of the store fronts of Higby's. I don't know what Higby's is, but I'm assuming it's like a department store and how they used to decorate the fronts of the department stores yes and they'd put the snow in the corners and the tinsel all the way around the, the glittery garland you know all right i'm scared to let it up until it totally sits up Let's see if it's hot under there no not really mash him good wendy i'm mashing him i'm trying not to mash his nose in he'd be <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a Santa with his nose crusty. <laughs> that one looked too good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I cracked myself up. <laughs> Deb, I'm going to tell her that you said that. You can ask her. I get on to her all the time. I'm like, Mandy, you need to go live. I know, I know, I know. Um... So, yes, I've been on her about going live. I'm like, you need to go live. You need to go live. So, I sent her. Well, no. She saw the real. Did y'all see the hats from Walmart? The gingerbread and the snowman and the Santa hats. The baseball caps. She saw that. And she sent me the picture. And she said, we need to get these. And we need to do live, do like a challenge alive and wear those hats. And I was like, yes, we do. <laughs> because I want the... Um, Hey, Christy, you can always watch the replay. You can always, uh, we're going to do, I want the gingerbread one. And I almost ran to Walmart today to get it, to wear it tonight. And I was like, no, I'll just wait. <laughs> hey, Joyce, welcome, Joyce. <laughs> Danielle, Dan <coughs> if he was crushed in, he might look like he'd been in the attic underneath something heavy for quite a while. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think he's good. I think I think we're good. But I but I look at him. Don't he look all fancy? So see, he is 
all, you know, he's sticking off and it didn't stick all the way down, but he's, he's on there. I mean, he's not coming off, but look, I know Tina, you get on to her and tell her that I said to get on to her. But look at any pretty, I mean, it's pretty just like that, but I know, I love it too, y'all. But yeah, his nose is intact, see? I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> he's not that hollow. He's hollow, but he's not just, <laughs> um, good old-fashioned Santa, yes. And I love this, because I collect the Santa, the Santa head mugs. I started collecting them a couple years ago, and I found them, like, five or six of them in the wild this year at the Goodwill bins or at Goodwill for, like, pennies. And they're actually vintage ones. And they're they're sitting up on my shelf over my coffee bar. And I have like six of them that I found this year. Like after Christmas. And I'd find one and buy it and just put it up there. So, um, Heather, me too. What did I put on his beard? I didn't put anything on his beard. He came just like that. He has, see the glitter? It's like this glitter. Where's my glitter? The sugar glitter that I tell you all the time. That's what's on him. It's just that clear, shiny glitter. But he came just like this from Walmart. Oh, thank you, Gina. So I'm gonna, Santa came from Walmart. Um, they have two kinds. They have this one, and they have the one that I used on the original project, which was the, he's a cream, all cream colored. And then Hobby Lobby has two different ones and they're red and white and red and black buffalo plaid hats so you can get them wherever you want to get them um my shirt came from bucky's last year when we went to see craig's dad and his stepmom at thanksgiving um we went by bucky's and i love this shirt so i had to have it um grunge has trim up a bit i'm scared <laughs> i'm really scared to I'm scared I'm going to make it too, like, maybe I'll just do it a little bit, because it's too wide, isn't it? I'm just, I'm barely, I'm scared I'm going to get it too brown, because I thought about that. Okay, that's okay, I didn't do too bad. This is just the baby wipe I had with the wax on it. See, Mandy wouldn't be scared. Mandy would just done it. Okay. Oh, gosh, I got some on his nose. That ain't good. <laughs> he don't need to have brown on his nose. Okay. I did a little bit. Just a little. Um. Yeah, the cream one I did. I, that was the original one I did. Um. Good, Tina. You tell her that I said to scold her, like, because I've been on her so bad. I'm like, you got to go live. This is like the crafting time of the year. So, if y'all don't follow my friend Mandy with Western Grace Home Decor, y'all need to follow her. She is so super talented. I'm just telling you. Um, she's in that little kind of, uh, we all go through that creative kind of funk thing. And that's where she's at right now. I'm like, girl, come on. This is the best crafting time of the year. I know, I know. Well, craft. Okay. So, I've just got, like, these are Dollar Tree from last year. Mini Pine Picks, it says. I love these things, and I can't find them anymore. Because they kind of look, they look like this. And they've got, let's just take this off of this stem. That was a stem of them. But anyway, they look like this. So, <coughs> I think I swallowed some snow. <coughs> it can be soot down the chimney. Hey, Jamie. So, like I said, I wanted holly berries. I wanted holly to put on him because I think that would be really vintage-y looking to use holly instead of um, just pine branches. Um, she is awesome, Darla. She really is. Um, anyway, and so... I couldn't find any holly because the one, the holly that I did find looked good, except the berries were like this off red color and they were real plasticky looking. And I was like, okay, hey, Kathy. Anyway, so I didn't like it. 
So then I, I saw this at Hobby Lobby, and I, it looks like holly berries to me. So I don't know if I'm gonna put the pine down, and then I'm gonna layer it maybe. Soft, flexible, yeah, it's like, it, it's plasticky. And I keep looking at this pine cone, because look at it, it's got like a, first of all, it's glued upside down. So let me fix this, because, what in the world? I just look at all these little glue things off my glue gun. Just fell on my project. Now it's stuck to the table. Now it's stuck to me. Get off now. Goodness gracious, I'm having a time. There's Western Grace Home Decor. Mandy, we were talking about you, so your ears were burning, girl. Yes, we're talking about you. Because somebody said, Deb said, she never sees you go live anymore. And I'm like, I, I said, I'm going to tell her you said that. Okay. Now, I had to put that pine cone on like it's supposed to be. Look, Mandy. Look at my Dollar Tree tray with my Walmart Santa. Isn't he cute? Okay. You love, oh, you love my, isn't he cute? I told them those gingerbread, they heard some kind of language today when I was putting that up there because I had struggles. <laughs> struggles. All right, so I think I'm gonna put my greenery like that, that pine. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this, this scrapbook paper that I bought today at Hobby Lobby that I used on this project, it cost me $110. Because I went in Hobby Lobby and bought too much stuff. Well, I didn't buy too much. I had to buy some stuff I needed. All right. I'm just cutting all this apart. Everybody say hey to Mandy. Y'all have to go watch her when she goes live. When she decides to go live. She's going to go live tomorrow. I'm telling her. You're going live tomorrow, Mandy. I'm telling you. So, like, I don't know if I should put my holly down and then maybe the pine on the top. Hmm. Cut another one off. Do y'all have problems like I do when trying to decide which one to cut? <laughs> so yes, y'all go see Mandy. Mandy is awesome. She just she just rolled over to a hundred thousand followers, and she um, she is well deserving of that because she is so talented. Um. All right, so I'm trying to see. See, this to me makes him look even that much more like old-timey Christmas decor. Because I wanted the red berries because he is red, his hat's red, and I wanted that old-timey looking Christmas. Um, but look how pretty this is. So now I'm trying to decide if I should put like the pine on the top, like that. Let's see. It's got some snow, that's got a little too much snow. Let's get rid of the snow. And I'm gonna put something pretty in the middle. See how that pine just looks. But I love the red berries, like that. I think it's pretty. But I have these that I bought at Hobby Lobby as well. They were, 99 cents, so they were 50 cents. And then I was like, well, I'll use these because they had holly on them because I wanted holly and I couldn't find any pretty holly. Um, it does look vintage. This red, these red berries is what it is what does it, I think. But I need, there's not as much red over here, so I'm a, I have an OCD issue when it comes to that. I love it too. I think it looks so good. The berries and the Santa just reminds me of like old time Christmas. The vintage Santa. <clears throat> Cause you don't see, you really don't see a lot of decor with holly anymore. Like real holly leaves like this. And then the red berries, you don't see that much anymore. And it used to be all the time when I was a kid. All right. 
So I basically just got this laying on the top of this tray. I don't know if I should move it down. Okay. So I think, so I'm gonna do it kinda like this. So I think I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, well, maybe, let's do this. <laughs> Christmas carols is too soon for you. Yeah, I mean, I agree, it kinda is. But in crap, you know, there's always somebody that comes along and says, crafters, oh, we start too early, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? We have to start early. If you're going to make decor or you're going to make gifts for people, you have to start early because it takes time. You put holly picks all over your house at Christmas. I see I love holly. And you just don't see it. You see the greenery. You see this greenery. You see the pine greenery. But you don't see, like, holly. And I love the holly. I think it just gives that vintage vibe to it. That's what I wanted today. And, you know, couldn't find what I wanted. So we're having to make do. So I just zip tied it together because I wanted it just like that. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of... So then I'm going to glue this whole thing down. So it's going to look like that. <laughs> Something like that. I'm trying to find the middle. All right, here goes nothing. Big old blob of it. And now we have to sit and wait again. Yeah, it's it's like a, these are those paper, um, they're not, I wouldn't say paper, but y'all know they're this funny material, whatever they are from Hobby Lobby and I love, they have, I love those flowers and they have flowers that are wildflowers that are like this and I love them. <clears throat> yes, Corrine, and you gotta start and some people do craft fairs and they do, they sell their stuff and you have to start early. That's why Hobby Lobby puts it out in July. But I know we all think, oh my gosh, it's too early. But, and I'm, on the verge of kind of thinking about offering Christmas stuff in my store, in my shop, like the whole year. Okay, so there's there's that. So this is what we have so far. You could put a bow on this and call it a day and call it done um, if you wanted to. Or you could just do like what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna add some of these little picks that's got pine combs, I think I am. So see, I'm gonna add that. So it's, you're gonna have a little pine in there with the berries, with the red berries. I still have fall up at my house, so y'all are way ahead of me. <laughs> um, had to start crafting back in the summer. Wow, Martha, that's awesome. Yeah, just keep building up the center. That's kind of what I'm doing. Layers, Mandy. It's about layers is what she says. Okay. So, I think I'm going to put that there. And we do Christmas in July. Y'all know we craft for Christmas in July a lot. Um, because people have to start early. Where did you get the tray? Darlene, the tray is from Dollar Tree. It's just a metal. It's one of these little metal serving piece things. It's just... Just a little tray from Dollar Tree. That's the round one. I'm using the rectangle because I couldn't find the oval. It is looking pretty. And you just keep building up. And they have lots of pretty gre pretty greenery at, at uh, Dollar Tree as well. So, y'all can get some there. Okay. This one has snow. That one doesn't. This one has too much snow. But this one has a pine cone. <laughs> I'm just torn. Let's see. Where's my scissors? You're just going to keep crafting for Christmas all year? I mean, it's not a bad idea, especially if you sell your crafts. Um, have fall up until the day after Thanksgiving. I don't know when I'm going to put mine up. Um, when I sit still long enough, but y'all know I'm going down the road to see my grandbaby. And not down the road, it's, it's two and a half hours from here, but... 
Um, but when I can, so, you know, that kind of gets put on the back burner. <laughs> Looking for the oval for a while and cannot find them. I know, Linda, see, I can't either. Um, I don't know if maybe, you know, they quit making the ovals or what. So, this is why I got the rectangle. And there, this time of the year, these trays are kind of hard to find. But, um, because people use them for their serving pieces. All right, so there's that. What I got so far. Now, I got to figure out what to put in the center. Hmm. <laughs> okay, here's the choices. I have got, and I put gold trim, and so, you know, I've got silver bells over here. But I've got rub and buff. <clears throat> so, I've got bells. I've got the old-timey jingle bells, which I kind of like. I could put some in the center here, and I could do them gold because we got the gold trim. And I could rub and buff them gold and put bells in the center. Then I have, <clears throat> yeah, Donna, I, I had some that I, I had bought a while back, but I've used them all. Okay, then I bought this today. This was one of my purchases at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if that's going to be too blingy or what. It may be. I don't know, y'all. Is that too blingy for Santa? For vintage, or does that make it look even more vintage? Because it looks like it looks like a brooch. Do y'all see it? It's very pretty. Rusty bells. Oh, I got rusty bells somewhere, but they're way up there in my Christmas stash that I haven't got down yet. You can make the bells red. <clears throat> too much bling. It is pretty. But I, I don't think you're right. I think it's too much. I don't know. And then I have I have these. I got these at Target because we had this. Me and Paige ran to Target yesterday, but they're silver. But I don't know. I could make it gold, but I don't know if that would be like taken away from Santa. Kind of thinking that it will. So, <laughs> so do the jingle bells? Because I would put like. Hmm, I could put, I could use this little thing maybe and put it in the center. And then it's got pine cones. Hmm. But I could take the pine cones off and I could put, because the bell's not like big enough, coffee stained cloth. And I don't have any coffee stained. And I just saw something over here, random, I'm gonna throw in the middle of this live because somebody asked me. My lipstick. <laughs> and I had this over here Thursday to show y'all and I totally didn't do it. I use Maybelline Super Stay, and it's these pencils. This is called Speak Your Mind. And I use Enjoy the view. That's the two colors I use. Because somebody has asked me before, and uh, I use those two colors, not together, but separate, but they are Maybelline Super Stay little crayons like this. So they look like this. <laughs> These were just laying over here since Thursday. Because <laughs> I have some more in my purse. So anyway, all right, you love that with the pine cone. <clears throat> Sorry. A little commercial for Maybelline. <laughs> I'm kidding. So like three bells, I don't know, I'm just trying to, I wish I had a bigger bell. Your favorite lipstick, Diane, it is, and it stays on, because the lady asked me, because she was like, oh, your lipstick always stays on, I just want to know what it is. Um, so, that's what it is. I have snowflakes. That's too white, that won't look right. Hmm. Well, 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 I have a star. Like, I have that blingy star. I think it's too blingy, though. Which store? I did get it at Walmart. Anywhere that sells Maybelline, like Walgreens, CVS, anywhere like that. A vintage bow with three rusty bells. See? I have rusty bells. I just can't get to them right now. 
a wood star. Yeah, I've got a star. I'm trying to think. Two bells is going to look funny. Three bells. I don't know how I would get them together. One bell is too small. <clears throat> Squirrel! <laughs> Sorry, I just saw it laying over here and somebody, I don't even know who it was, asked. Cinnamon on the silver bell. I was going to put gold rub and buff on it. <clears throat> because. Um, let me find a nasty paintbrush. Because my trim is gold. My bell is not. Let me find an old, old crusty paintbrush like this. And take this little piece of cardboard. Or I can just. Irene still got Thanksgiving stuff out. I just have fallout still on my mantle. Oh, this stuff this smells funny. Watching from Florida. Stringing them together and hot glue them down. All right, let me, let's get the rub and buff going. I think... This is going to look better. That stuff makes my eyes water. It's strong. Okay. So if you got something silver, like, or, or the wrong color, rub and buff every time, y'all. My friend Shaney, she bought some bells last year. <clears throat> some big jingle bells. We went somewhere and she bought some. And um, she, um, she rub and buffed the whole, all those bells, and they were beautiful, because she didn't like them silver, she wanted them gold, and they were gorgeous. You still have your follow-up, too? A thin wire, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna paint three of them, or do three of them with the rub and buff. And we'll buff them in a minute. <laughs> Everybody says you're supposed to paint it, and you're supposed to buff it. Rub and Buff does have a strong smell. I know. I just, it's almost like a, a chemical. It smells like, it's not flammable. Oh, I'm sorry. It is flammable. <laughs> Maybe harmful. Vapor is harmful. Um, that's nice. <laughs> Let's put a cap on that stuff. <laughs> anyway. Um, it smells like. When I was in a band, and when I was in elementary school, and I was in part of high school, I was in the band. Do y'all know what instrument I played? I've talked about this before. So, I'm going to tell y'all what this smells like. <clears throat> it looks good, doesn't it? I mean, you wouldn't think they were silver. Okay. They look good. I, can, I got cinnamon, but I don't know if they'll stick to it. Hold on. Got a big chunk of it. All right. Y'all know what instrument I've, I played. I think Mandy said you can get this off with alcohol. I don't know. So I'm going to try to see. I'll put it in the water. You forget to buff. All right. It's dry. So we're buffing. Do y'all remember what I told y'all? What instrument I played? We talked about this one time. It doesn't take long to dry. I like the berries. I think I'm going to put the berries with the pine cones. I'm not sure. I might do the bell. Three bells. I don't know. I wish I had a big giant bell, but I don't. I'm just trying to hold them up here to see what that looks like but I need a piece of wire yes Brenda it was it was a type of horn look you can tw untwist this and look these little leaves just go beep, they just come right out um let 
Rub and buff dries. Yeah, you have to buff it or something. It doesn't take long to dry. It dried that fast. So I'm just untwisting this little branch because it's wire and I'm gonna use it to strain these together. I played the French horn. Not the French horn. Close, but not the French horn. The trombone, no. <laughs> Close, but not the trombone. <laughs> I love playing this game with y'all because sometimes y'all remember. The bells need to dangle a bit if you use them, but I think the berries and the pine cone. Okay, we're gonna try, just see. Because I didn't do the back of the bells, so the back of the bells are still silver. <laughs> My downfall, I don't do the back. Hey, Patsy. Okay. I'm gonna try to get them to play right, because you know, they may not. Ugh, y'all. This is about how I felt when I was trying to get that, that garland up there. I had a harder time hanging it up here than I did on my mantle. I had to move everything, and it was a fun time. Those little gingerbread men were covering their ears. I was saying some ugly words. Okay. I was trying to be nice, but it was just not cooperating. All right. All right, so I'm going to show you all this. So they're not exactly like, you know, they're just kind of grouped together. But I'm kind of liking that. Isn't that pretty? Y'all like that? I could still put this up here. Let's just cut these pine cones off. Love the bells. Y'all still haven't guessed what I instrument I played. All right, let me cut this off. We're just trimming this thing down to nothing. I like the bells. I just think that looks vintage, but I am gonna add this. Goodness, it's going to all come apart now. You love that more than the bling. Okay. So, I think I may just have to glue all this to, in place right here. All right. I'm going to do that. Well, I don't, if I put the jingle bells dangling, I don't know. Okay. Hold on. Let me get this this down here while I've got it in my hand. Gotta hold it. I like the bells. Barb says clarinet. Nope. Not the clarinet. Not the clarinet. Probably not what you would think that I played. Alto horn clarinet tuba. <laughs> you know, I played the trumpet. I was a good trumpet player. Um, if I do say, so, if I want to toot my own horn, no pun intended. Yes, pun intended. <laughs> Oboe. <laughs> uh, I wanted to play the flute, and they wouldn't let me change because it'll mess up your embouchure. I wanted to play two instruments, but, you know, they said, no, 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 can't do that. It'll mess up your embouchure for, hey, Margaret, for your uh, trumpet, and you don't need to do that. I was like, okay. But... Um, so, you have valves on a trumpet, okay? Um, three valves, and you have to oil those. That's what that rubbing above smells like to me. It smells like the stuff that we used to, the, the valve oil we used to use. That's what it smells like. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yay! That was so good. I bet it did sound good. Your husband played the trumpet, and you played the flute. Aww. Okay. So y'all, so if I dangle the bells, they're just gonna look like that. Like, I mean, they're just, you know, they're not gonna look. Um, you said that. <laughs> you played trumpet too. That's why you remember Donna. All right, I think I'm just going to group them together. All right, so I got my holly down, and okay, so I'm just gonna hold them up here. Uh, I say I am. <laughs> this is kind of like you got to hold your mouth right, cross your fingers and your toes, and hold it all at the same time to get these up here where I can show y'all the best I can. 
I think that's gonna look good. See, that looks all vintagey. Oh, yay, Joanne. String on each bell and stagger them. My brother played trumpet and I remember that stuff now. Yes, it smells. It smells, it smells like that. Off to the side of Santa. Well, I got my mindset on this now. All right. I'm going to do the best I can to get these little dudes in here. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue those together. <laughs> what time is it for me? It is 9.01. I've been crafting late lately, like two hours or something. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I used to craft really fast. But the coffee, I've drank almost all of it. I love the bells too. I think it looks super vintage. Somehow I glued them to the actual project already by that one piece. So now I've got to hide this wire, cut it off. Where's my, my wire cutters? The wire cutter in there. <sighs> nope, I lied. There we go. Now you got to get back on here while the glue is still, while the glue is still hot. It's only eight there. Yes, y'all are an hour behind me. Yay, you can watch the replay, Beverly. That's okay. All right. I ain't liking this glue on my bells. So maybe they'll stay without me glue them together. That's what I'm hoping. I know, it looks really vintage. It looks really pretty. And I'm thinking those bells just make it look so much more vintage. Hang on, I gotta bend this wire back. There we go, now you can't see it. So see, I kind of put that holly, that little pick of holly up here. And then I put the bells on top of it because it was like a big open space that needed something. Angie, the Santa is from Walmart. He is an ornament and he's hanging up with all the ornaments up high. Um, it's 10 in Ohio. Yeah, you're an hour ahead of me. Eight in Colorado. Seven in Seattle. Wow. But look how pretty this is. But yeah, you, y'all, you could do this so many ways. You can hang the bells down. You could put these bells. I mean, you don't even have to have the Santa. I did this last year or something similar to it, and I used the joy, the word joy across here. And I want to say I used these this holly stuff too, a little bit of it, I think. Um, but y'all, this is so, so pretty. It doesn't need much because it just kind of stands on its own, you know, as far as the pieces go. It, it speaks for itself. It doesn't need any words. It doesn't need Merry Christmas. It doesn't need any of that. I don't think because you look at this to me and this just looks like old timey vintage Santa. And I love it. I just love it. See, I just kind of pull my branches down a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could come back in. I could poke some more up in there and glue them in. If I didn't think, you know, like here, because I kind of, I'm kind of thinking it's a little bare. But um, let's see. You could just keep adding to it and poking them and gluing them. Let's see. Poking and gluing. <laughs> That sounded kind of funny, didn't it? Um, 10 in Central Florida. Yep, y'all are ahead of me. Turn it around. I think I might add a couple more there somehow. Up under here. It just looks like it's part of it. To make it a little bit fuller than I have it. Like, yeah. Hot glue some more. I know, Sandra, I love it too. It does look very vintage, and I just love this style of Santa. 
Um, I'll try to, I, I know I have the picture of my other one, and I'll definitely try to post it. Thank you, Margie. And uh, I'll post it so y'all can see it. Some of y'all probably didn't see it. Because I had it sitting back here last year, and then people would ask about it. Where's my other piece? Oh. It is. It's somebody's hat. Somebody said somebody's hat. Where did the berry and the leaves come from? The, I got this this holly looking stuff like this from Hobby Lobby. And all their Christmas is 50% off right now. 50% off. Did I say 50% off? Did I say 50 cents? <laughs> what did I say? Um, so, uh, I got that today because I needed some. I was looking for holly. I wanted old timey looking holly and I couldn't find any. So, I had to settle for this pick, which I've bought before. And they have small picks of it. And they have these this big one. This big one was in, like, the actual flowers section where the Christmas stuff is. And then, I mean, the Christmas flowers. And then the, they have little ones that are on the aisle, kind of in the Christmas decor, where all the little picks and stuff are. They have smaller ones, too. Hey, Diane, and you can definitely, y'all can change this up any way you want to. Different greenery, a different ornament, but this tray is just amazing to do stuff with because it looks, it looks really cool. You could put gingerbread men on this. So cute. Let that dry. Okay, so see, I just put a couple more under here to give it, to make it more full, and you don't, can't even tell that I added it, but just love the jingle bells. Now, I'm thinking somebody said somebody's hat. Hobby Lobby tomorrow for the holly. Yeah, so it's this. But they have small ones. And then they have the big one. I just bought the big one because I will use... Um, Gary, yes, I will probably... I can probably do that. I can get that other Santa from Walmart. The, the cream colored one. Night, Heather. Um, I was thinking of adding like a piece of this. Where was those leaves? See, you know, what I, mean? I took the leaves off and adding like some some holly to his hat. Hold on, like cutting off some berries. I'm trying to see if I have some loose ones running around here, but I don't. They look like um, pip berries is what they look like. Hang on. You could put pip berries in this. They have red ones um, at, I know they have them at um, Dollar Tree. So I just pulled off a couple. I'm seeing if I can make this work. Do, 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 do. Why don't I just do this? All right, so this was just a little piece, and I just cut it because it's wired together. Let's see. I'm thinking about putting some on his hat and that kind of pulls it all in together. Hey, Linda. Hey, Danica. And then maybe put these two little um, two berries on here. Okay. But they look like they, they look like pip berries. They're not like round. They're oval. So they look just like pip berries. All right, let me, I'm gonna work on my little, his, his little hat piece before I glue it to his hat. Cause if I can't make this look right, I don't want it on there. I don't want it to be on there. Let's see. All right, I need one more. One more. 
cut one off. And I'm going to put this on his hat. Yes, I think he just needs... Whoops. So where... Okay, I'm going to put it on this side, I think. Right. This is going to be the perfect touch, I promise. This is what he definitely needed. Yes. Look how cute he looks now. Just that little bitty bit. See, it looks so cute. Look at it. I love it, love it, love it. But look how, look what that just made that. It ties it all together now. If I had a little tiny gold bell, I would put that on there too. Or I'd put it down here. But I could put this. Just keeping on and adding on, keeping on. Let's see. I could put it down here on his. Ladies craft night, Kathy. That sounds fun. But I could put one down here on his, um, the ball of his hat. this to stay okay I'm gonna set I'm just gonna set it there so y'all can see it so should I put one here or no look how cute see it's not glued on it's just sitting there yeah this is from Walmart the Santa papers from Hobby Lobby trays from Dollar Tree and this is pretty much Hobby Lobby but I just I wanted this holly berry vintagey looking look because I wanted some red up here to go with the red on him. Good night, Donna. So yes, put it down here. I wish I had a tiny, tiny gold bell. Tiny, tiny, tiny gold bell. I've got some that's not too tiny, but I've got that size. Hmm. I then have I set my I got gold rubbing buff on my arm. <laughs> it is all good. Okay. Where is my rubbing buff? Hello. Sorry, yes. Okay. I got this. Bell. So now we're going to look at this bell and see if um, we want to put this on Santa's hat. It's like I just keep thinking of what I can add. Okay, I'm going to put that way over here. Just the bell on his hat? I was kind of thinking that. Yes, Bonnie, I need to get my rusty bells, my crusty bells down. When Dorothy comes tomorrow, I'll get her to help me get my Christmas stuff down. I've been telling her I need to get it down. But um, it's up high. Okay, so just the bell down here on his hat. I love it, y'all. Oh, I got a better idea. Hold on. I'm going to start singing in a second here. Got the gold trim stuff. Okay. I'm trying to make the end kind of pointy so I can get it through my bell. It's all about the details. I'm going to, like, tie it on his hat with that gold cord. Because I can lift up his little hat part. And, um... 
I'll put that on the little, uh, his little ball. Sing some Christmas carols. <laughs> Y'all want me to sing? It's bad. Okay. Glue strings. You can't really see the gold cord, but it's there. So if you want to look from the side, you could see the cord. You can see the cord from the side. Y'all see it? Now, now it's finished. I think this is finished. Like, I've got the gold bell, gold bell, berries. He's got berries on his hat. And I think, I think he's finished. And I absolutely love it. I think this looks better than the one I did, the original one. Um, I love this. The back is all tacky, but the front looks really good. So, good night, Angie. But now, the people are going to go, what are you going to do with this? I would definitely, I have a whole box of these easels that I got at Goodwill some time back, but I would definitely just do this. Just like that. And he would be, ooh, he would go in my house or wherever. He's going to find his beautiful place back here amongst the gingerbread for right now until I decorate my house. But isn't he pretty? Oh my gosh. You could, y'all. If you had a big wreath on your door, you could nestle this on your wreath. This would be beautiful. I mean, y'all, <laughs> he would be so pretty on a, on a, yeah. You could, you could do this like on a wood round of some type or even, you know, plastic plate or whatever, and then put this in your wreath. It'd be beautiful. And he's a, he was $1.98 at Walmart. And the tray was $1.25. And then, of course, the paper cost me $110 today. Hobby Lobby, because I went in the store to get the paper. And um, then, of course, greenery. But you might already have greenery. If you have some probably down in the, the, um, down in the bottom of your Christmas decor, like me, stick a fork in and it's done. <laughs> um... Yes, I like the gold. I'm not a gold person for Christmas, but I do love this because, see, you can see the gold here, and then the gold bell, and then the gold up there. So, it kind of, and then the easel's gold. Karen is just in love with this. Yes, it is so pretty. But, y'all, they, the, they have the black and white plaid at Hobby Lobby. You could do it all in black and white. I mean, the red and black, it would, they would either, any of it would look so pretty. Um, I will, Lynn, I'm going to tell her when I get off here, I'm going to text her and say, you, they miss you. Um, but the, uh, you could do so much you could do with this. The, those other gold bells, y'all know what I'm talking about? Those cylinder bells, you could use those. They're really pretty this year. They're really in style. Um, but I love the old Santa and it's that the traditional jingle bells. Um, I mean, it would just look so good. Any way you did this, it will look good. The greenery is perfect. I don't remember you doing greenery. You did such a great job. I did do greenery before. It was like a, it was a subtle green. It wasn't like green, green, green. But since he's so traditional, I wanted traditional. Like red, green gold. See, Sheila, I'm not either. I'm kind of easing that way, but I like silver. I love the paper and keep it in my side. I do too, Katie, except I had to go to Hobby Lobby today to get one piece. Well, I got two, but because my pieces looked like this and I didn't have enough for the tray, so I had to go in there and end up buying a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> but I stocked up on all my little Christmas embellishments and little things that I use, little snowflakes and all those little things. I was like, well, I need it, so I'm going to go ahead and get it while I'm in here. Oh, Barb, were you in, in Stacy's group last year and you did that one? It was very pretty. Oh, I had to, I think it's in my bins up there. As a matter of fact, I know it is. Because I don't think I took him in the house. But he is, um, he's pretty too. So I have to get him out and put him back here. But I know I got pictures of it, so... But it's around here somewhere. But he is so pretty. See that red? This was white paint. White Waverly. 
and I didn't have red chalk paint, so I just painted it white. And I used good old 49 cent Hobby Lobby red, bright red. And then I waxed, I used the, the antique wax on it and made it, just kind of toned it down. And I did it on the paper too. It's so pretty though. I love it. It looks so good. Thank you, Stephanie. Good night, Christy. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see y'all do this in the group. If you're not in my community group, it's just a free group that I have. It's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Um, and be sure and get in there. Everybody shares their projects and stuff. And they do not necessarily stuff that I've done. It's any kind of crafts they do. Sue, he came from Walmart in the ornament aisle. Oh, Caroline said, oh. Caroline, you're so amazing. Okay, she said to gold rub and buff. Oh, 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 yes, that looks amazing. Okay, y'all got to see it now. It looks, oh my goodness, yes. This makes all the difference. Yes. Just kind of going along all those little, those ridges on this tray. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Y'all just thought y'all liked it a second ago. Wait till you see what this did. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for the idea. Look at this. All right. Let me move this. I'll set my elbow down in. Okay. Look at the gold rub and buff. Oh my goodness. I just can't, I can't, I can't. I see a spot that I missed right there. Okay. Oh my goodness. That made it better. Thank you, Caroline. That's awesome. I know Mandy would be so proud, wouldn't she? She's like the rub and buff queen. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna message her when I get off because I'm gonna get on to her like, she's gotta go live. I'm going to tell her that she needs to go get this ornament tomorrow and she needs to go live and she needs to do her version. It'll look 10 times better than this. I promise. Um, I love it too. So stinking cool. But yeah, that rub and buff. Thank you. That looks so much better. Cherry on top, Brenda said. Yes, that is done. It's, 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 it's D-U-N done now. <laughs> I thought it was done a minute ago until Caroline said, put the rub and buff on the edges. Looks so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's just so pretty. And I need to get some silver rub and buff. I have never used the silver. This was, I use, this is the only one I have. And it is antique gold. And I promise y'all, this tube will last you a very long, I've had this tube probably two years. And it lasts a very long time. Yeah, didn't it look like it looked so much? Now it looks really vintage with the gold rub and buff. Sometimes you just need gold, not just silver. You need gold. But I want to get some silver and try it. Even more perfect, right? Yes, Carolyn. Carolyn or Caroline? What, I think it was, maybe it was Carolyn. But yes, that was a perfect, perfect suggestion. Because <laughs> it looks... Santa's eyes are twinkling. He is a very much approved of how he looks. How was sweet Charlie? Oh, she was so sweet. I got some snuggles. I got those neck snuggles with her little head right here. I love her so. I can't wait till she's up and running around and all that stuff. I can't wait. Yes, the, it looks so good on the red. The, the rub and buff does. Looks so good. <laughs> yay Benita yes so yeah I'm gonna tell Mandy okay go get this ornament and I'm gonna tell my people you're gonna do it so that you can see her um uh that Paula no I did not he comes looking like this the only thing I did to him I was I added the holly here and I added a gold bell there that's all I did to him he looks just like this when you buy him he's got all of that like old vintage looking that old timey sugar glitter they used to use on everything. So he comes looking just like that. The ornament from Walmart. A little bit of snow on his hat. Yes. I, yeah, I could do that too because this has got snow on it up here, but my snow is way over there somewhere. 
so I'd have to go get it. <laughs> but anyway, but yes, I think he is done. It looks so good. All right, guys. Well, I am going to hop off here. I cannot wait for y'all to do this. I know y'all go to Walmart probably randomly. I mean, not randomly. Uh, you know, y'all go to Walmart some, I'm sure. So, you can go get this ornament when you go get your groceries. <laughs> um, yeah, Paula, he did. He looked just like this in the store. And that's all I added was the, the holly to tie it in. And then the bell to tie it in. So, um, good night, Linda. Thank y'all for hopping on and coming on and watching. And I can't wait to see what y'all do with this idea. Because I know it's going to be fantabulous. Um, it's okay, Benita. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate you being here. Good night, Vicky. I know. I love this. Y'all try it. I'm, I'm so happy I went with the red and, and didn't do the whole thing like a cream colored. I went with the red because I think it, it makes the vintage even more. Um, so yeah, I think that was a good choice. Good night, Donna. Good night, Marcedia. Susan, tell her to get you the ornament at Walmart. Sweet dreams, Sandy. Good night, Linda. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. I will see y'all Thursday night, and I'll be restocking the banner, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I just got to get a bunch cut. So, I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys.